Hi everyone, welcome to Spray the World. My name is Nicholas, I'm 32 and I'm from France. Sorry about the accent, I hope you understand everything. I'm here to share my passion with you about street art and urban art in general and discover the work of some of the greatest artists in the world. And today, for our first video, we're gonna speak about Shades of Grey. Anastasia, you naughty girl. No, literally Shades of Grey. And we're gonna speak about cover. Hello from the other side. <laughs> nope, not that kind of cover either, more that kind. Please let me introduce you to one of my favorite artists, Martin Watson. Martin Watson is born in 1984 in Norway, a country that invented modern skiing, salmon sushi, but most importantly in our case, aerosol spray in 1927. So basically, every time you see a piece of street art, you can thank Snow Way for that. Martin Watson started his stencil production in 2004, and since then developed a unique style mixing graffiti and stencil. You can find his work in Norway, France, Germany, Italy, Malaysia, and even Japan. He's one of the main figures of the Norwegian street art scene that also includes famous artists such as Dot Dot Dot, Dolk, and rising artists such as Pobol and Lasta. We'll speak about them in another video. But now, let's concentrate on Martin Watson's work, and more precisely, his signature work, the cover-up style. As you can see, Martin Watson combines graffiti and stencil in a very unique way, which is very recognizable. His stencil work is very recognizable, as he usually uses shades of grey. Anastasia, you naughty... <laughs> as he usually uses tones of grey. Then by using graffiti, he covers those grey images with vivid colors that suddenly brings life to his work. For that, he mostly used spray paint and Posca pen. Can you imagine how long it can take to cover a wall such as this one? Of course, depending on the subject of his painting, he will sometimes start by covering the wall with graffiti, then put the stencil. Like this one, for example. Speaking of subject, Martin Watson usually paints what some might consider boring or out of date such as ballet dancer, zebras, classic music, bear walls, moon conquest, renaissance sculpture, or classic painting, etc, etc, etc. That's actually the message here. Sometimes things that are boring or out of date can suddenly become beautiful and modern if you apply just a bit yourself. So therefore you can see like a message of peace and love, something like that. Even though Martin Watson's cover-up style is now his signature work, you definitely need to check his early work, which were much more political, but still quite brilliant, as you can see right now. Now, let's play a little game. I'm asking you to take a close look at those images that I'm showing you right now. Those are all from Martin Watson's work, of course, the cover-up style. You're probably able by now to recognize his work. But did you notice anything? Nope. Martin Watson's graffiti style may seem random and chaotic, but it actually follows a very specific pattern that is part of his signature work. So here's what I like to call the Martin Watson's cover grid. That grid is the list of the symbols that he used the most to cover his work. So take a pen, get ready, because it's gonna go fast. Ready? Go! First, the letters X, S, A, the A that looks like the one from Anarchy, because after all, graffiti is anarchy. The words, yo, this, punk, hardcore, peace and love, a three what I believe being a tribute to Jose Parla and Cy Twombly. According to Martin Watson bio, Jose Parla and Cy Twombly, those two modern artists, were a major influence on his work. And as you can see, between them and the symbol, there's quite a resemblance. Four, the arrow. Five, the heart. Because in every street artist, there's a little heart that beats. Six, the double dot. Seven, his signature. Eight, the crown. The crown is probably one of the symbols the most used in graffiti. It was usually put above the name of the artist to say, hey, I'm the best. To me, the crown has always reminded me of Basquiat. But maybe Martin Watson just painted because he's from Norway and it's a monarchy. 9. The star. 10. The wave. And finally, 11. What I call the thing. I call it the thing because I cannot identify what it is. Please, if you know what it is, let me know in the comments. I've been looking into this for quite some time and it pisses me off that I'm still not able to find out what it is. Of course, this list is not complete. Martin Watson used other symbols, but the ones I gave you are the most common ones. 
You'll find sometimes other symbols such as the copyright symbol or other words like Amor for example. Anyway, you can look at any Martin Watson's work and you'll find most of those symbols, as long as it's cover of style, of course. So please try at home, take any Martin Watson's work and try to find as many symbols as you can. I've done it with this picture, you can go on my Facebook page and you'll see how many I found. Maybe you'll find even more than me. So basically, looking at Martin Watson's work in detail, it's like playing Where is Waldo, trying to find all the little details in the picture. Waldo, you naughty boy. No more hiding. Speaking of finding something, if you want to buy Martin Watson's work, one of the best places for that is Graffiti Print. You'll find the link in the description below. That is where most of his main edition and smaller edition are released. You'll probably hear me speaking about this website in other videos, because they have a lot of great artists there and they're pretty productive. But like any artist, of course, Martin Watson has a price. For a main edition, a screen print like the ones I'm showing you right now, the price is usually around $250 at the moment of the release, of course. It will be more around $300 if the screen print is hand finished, which is pretty cool because it's kind of a unique edition for each and every one. Even though a main edition is between 125 and 175 copies, it sells out in seconds. So you gotta be fast if you want to grab one. If you really, really want that print and you missed it, you'll have to be willing to pay twice the price, which is usually the price that you will find on the second-hand market. And you'll find it the minute after that it was released. Thanks, flippers. But don't worry, Martin Watson is quite a productive artist, so you'll have other opportunities to buy some of his work. Smaller edition, like the one you're seeing right now, are usually hand finished. By smaller edition, I mean 10, 20 copies or so, sometimes even less. The price is around $1,000. The price can be a bit more or a bit less, depending if it's a screen print or if it's on canvas and it has been hand sprayed. For a unique edition of a hand-painted canvas, for example, the price can be from $5,000 to $10,000, depending on the size of the canvas. I wish I had that kind of money. Martin Watson's cover-up style is perfect for collaboration work with other artists. That's why you'll find quite a lot of them. He worked with Sneak, with Sandra Chevrier, Ernest Zakharevich, Rome Couch, Pure Evo, and probably others that I don't have right now in mind. And since it's the work of two artists combined, the price of, for such a print is usually a bit more expensive. Anyway, I can only recommend you to buy one of his work. I have one on my roll right there, it's the Toucan, the main edition, hand finish, it's pretty cool and decorative. So anyway, it's quite a good investment. Martin Watson's work is very popular, it sells out in seconds, and you can always sell it afterwards. Even though I'm not a big fan of flippers. For those who don't know what flipper are, there are people who buy the works and sell the artist the second after just to gain some money. They don't care about the art, they just care about the money. Speaking of Flipper, Martin Watson is trying to fight those guys with his next release that will be through Graffiti Print by organizing a lottery. So you will need to subscribe if you want to try to buy his work. Doesn't mean you'll have it, but at least everyone has a chance to have a print, not only the Flippers. Well, that's it. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned one thing or two. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos to come and to share this one, if you liked it, of course. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So, until next time, don't forget to spray the world. See ya!